What's up everybody, my name is Jason Turley and today we are looking at some CTF challenges from PicoCTF.org. This is their practice gym, their practice area, Pico Gym uh, as they call it. It's a website for retired CTF challenges that they keep up and running so we can continue learning and becoming better security professionals, better hackers. So on the left side you can see the different categories they have available and you can organize by event and then on the right we see all the challenges they have the ones that are grayed out are ones I've completed and the ones that are more in focus are ones I have not solved yet but there's a certain challenge I want to show today so I'm going to go to general skills and then beginner pico mini 2022 and we're going to be looking at fixme1.py and fixme2.py so clicking on it we see this pop up we get the description, fix the syntax error in this Python script to print the flag, and then over here we get four hints. Indentation is very meaningful in Python. I take no shame in just reading the hints beforehand. To view the file in the web shell, do this. So yeah, um, if you don't have your own terminal, if you're just using completely a web browser, you can use their web shell here. It's a web shell in a browser you just enter your username and your password and you're good to go but I'm not going to be using that here it recommends using nano it's a text editor and it tells you you can exit with control X and the string XOR function does not need to be reverse engineered for this challenge interesting so we can download the script here I'm just gonna right click and scroll down to copy link and then I'm going to open up my terminal. You can see I already have a directory created named Pico. And I'm just wget, and then the name of the file, or the name of that link I copied, smash enter. And we see the download completed, ls, fixb1.py. And now we want to, and before I open this up in a uh, text editor, let me just run it, see what happens. File. And then it gives the file path on line 20. Print, that is correct, here's your flag. Indentation error, unexpected indent. All right, so if I open this file up and navigate to line 20, I'm expecting to see an indentation error. So vim fixme1.py and line 20. Yep, you see that's indented over. So fix that. Well. You saw I fixed that in Vim. I hit I for insert and then I hit backspace. A better way is just hitting the left arrow bracket and then K and then it'll move over. You don't have to insert and then hit backspace. So we see that indentation is fixed. And from that hint earlier, it said we don't need to really reverse engineer this function, but we see that it takes a secret and some type of key and then it's gonna XOR these things together and it's gonna print out our flag. So on line 19, we see flag is equal to the output of this encrypted flag xor with this key. So instead of going through this challenge trying to reverse engineer, let's save and quit, clear the screen and rerun it. That indentation error is gone and we see that it printed out our flag. So you would copy this and you would enter that in to the here. All right, guys, I guess I can demonstrate that. Copy and then paste it in. And it says we solved it correctly. Let's look at fixme2.py. Fix the syntax error in the Python script to print the flag. So very similarly, right click, copy, wget to download this ls to make sure it's there. Now let's run it. Python 3 fixme2.py. On line 22, if flag equals quotation marks, and then we get a syntax error, invalid syntax. So let's open that up in the best text editor in the world, vim, and see what's going on. Hit colon 22 to automatically go to line 22. So what is this doing? It's checking that the flag is not empty and it says if flag and then one equals this, then do something. So it gives us a syntax error 
because in programming language is one equals is an assignment so you can see in line 19 uh, it's calling the string XOR function and the output of that is being saved to flag so what we really want is two equals because we're checking to see if these two things are equal we're checking to see if the flag is the empty string whereas one equal sign assigns it the empty string which is not what we want so this is a, a logic error put that back oh no save and quit with x now when i run this we get that is correct here's your flag and i can copy this and slam it in the prompt right here and boom we got it all right guys um, if you've never played around with Pico CTF before, I highly recommend it. It's very, very beginner friendly, very fun, and there's a ton of challenges. I just did some basic Python challenges, but as you can see on the left, they have things for web exploitation, cryptography, reverse engineering, and so on. So it's a pretty well known uh, site. Um, take it easy, guys, and see you in the next video.